Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time I'm going to show you how to solve the Shrine Quest, the Satori Mountain Crystal, and create the Usazum Shrine for Raru's Blessing. So you want to start at the Satori Mountain Foothill Cave in Hyrule Ridge, that I showed you on the map. It's just near the Shrine Ring, it's never far away from these things. Uh, and inside of this cave is a Hinox that you need to kill because the Shrine Crystal uh, he's currently wearing it as a necklace, and that's not good for us. Before you go in and attack the Hinox in this literal donut of a cave, you want to walk in to the middle of the ring and then climb up this little outcropping here into this smaller cave, and inside is going to be a chest with 100 rupees inside. So I want to make sure I showed you that because it's a very, very useful little treat in here. And of course, there is also a bubble frog in here in another alcove uh, right near where we're about to fight the high knock. So make sure to grab the bubble gem from the frog and uh, yeah, you get everything out of this cave. So the bubble frog is actually to our right right now in the little outcropping that you can sort of see next to the high knocks. Okay, so you can always try to shoot these guys in the eyes. I'm terrible at aiming in this game for some reason, at least during combat. Uh, but if you shoot a Hinox in the eye, basically it'll sort of get stunned, and then you get some decent damage on the boss, and then you, know, you don't have to worry about it too much. Okay, so this guy has a plate around his left foot, and what you can do is if you have a weapon that uh, creates fire, or if you want to time a fire fruit throw, you can go for that and that'll burn it away. This way you have access to both legs. But for me, I came here kind of late. This is like my 65th shrine or something like that. So I had a decent weapon and I was able to take him down super fast. But high noxes really aren't that difficult, especially when there's no trees around. So you shoot them in the eye, hit them in the leg and just run away when they look like they're about to stomp. Once the boss goes down, the shrine crystal will become available. So all you want to do is use your ultra hand and take it out of the cave with you. And then I'll show you the location of the shrine ring that uh, we're going to create the shrine at, literally right outside of the cave's mouth. So all you got to do is bring it there, and then either start the quest or end the quest. It'll start and stop it, you know, all at once if you just bring it the crystal. Uh, but that's it. The shrine itself is a Roru's blessing, so it's just a prize and an orb. No shrine challenge this time. The challenge is creating the shrine and killing the high knocks. But that's it. All right. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the join button below this video. You can also leave a super thanks by clicking the heart icon below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll be Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.